show you how to use the FET gas properties simulation. So here I've gone to the uh, FET simulation and you start off with this uh, window here where you can either choose to do the ideal section, the explore energy or diffusion. We are going to focus mainly on the ideal. So go ahead and click on that. And when you click on it here, you'll see you have a box here uh, that will contain your gas along with a pressure, pressure measure uh, measuring instrument, a thermometer to measure your temperature, a, a heater and cooler down here, and a pump which will add uh, your gas molecules to it. You also have a handle here where you can change this, the size and therefore the volume of your box. You also have a handle at the top where you can open and release uh, gas so you can lose gas. You also have uh, in the bottom right hand corner this reset button so you can always reset if you ever need to uh, get it started. Uh, I'll talk about this little eraser button here in a minute. So to start you're always going to add some gas and you do that by just clicking and, and holding down the handle and pumping in some gas by pushing the handle up and down. So now I have some gas molecules inside the box. And as you can see, the temperature has changed and the pressure has changed. Now, we are looking at all the different possible variables of a gas, uh, the four main ones being volume, temperature, pressure, and number of moles or the amount. Uh, we're controlling each one with a different part of this. To control the volume, we can move this handle here uh, on the left hand side to increase or decrease the size of the box and that increases or decreases the volume. In order to change the pressure uh, we can simply add more molecules or uh, decrease more molecules. Uh, to change the temperature we have this heater cooler in the bottom underneath the box and to increase the amount you can always push the the pump handle to add more. To decrease the amount of gas molecules you can always open it up and let some out. Now at times we're going to want to hold certain uh, of the certain properties of the gas constant and that's what this box in the top right is for. So for example I can control I can hold the volume constant and now that handle on the left hand side is gone and I can't change the size of the box. I can hold the temperature constant by clicking on the next one and now the handle comes back but now I can't uh, add or uh, add heat or cool down the box at all that uh, option is gone. And for pressure there's two different things you can do. Uh, you can hold it, for the first pressure constant one, this one, notice there is no handle so I can't change the volume directly but I can add heat or take away heat and that will change the volume of the uh, box. So the first one, uh, first pressure constant will let you change the, the volume by trying to change the uh, temperature. If I click the second one, the reverse is happens. Now I have that handle so I can change the volume but I can't change the uh, temperature. I can see what the temperature changes happen. Now to measure each one, again we have the thermometer here that tells us the temperature. We have this pressure uh, monitor here that tells us the pressure. To, for volume you need to click on this box in the uh, underneath the hold constant section that has width. So we're seeing the width, that changes the size of the box and therefore changes the volume of the box. We also have two other options. We can add a stopwatch so we can keep track of time. Uh, and we also have a collision counter which we can have it count how many collisions on the walls happen with each one of the, uh, mo with the molecules over a certain amount of time. And it does it and you can always run that and uh, get a different amount. You can always uh, reset it as it goes. Uh, also you have a particle counter if you click on the plus sign underneath uh, or next to this particles box and notice there's a heavy counter so right now I have 55 uh, heavy particles in there. I can also change what particles I can have a light gas go in there so now that I've clicked 
underneath the pump, there's two different options. The larger uh, blue uh, circles represent the heavy. The smaller red circles represent the light ones. So I'm going to add some light ones. And notice they're lighter and they tend to move a little bit differently. So now I have 55 heavy and uh, 23 light ones. And then I, if I want to erase all the molecules, I can click on here and now all the molecules are out. And then I can pump to add more. So now I have 32 light ones and switch it over and I added 39 heavy. And then, like I said, if you ever want to reset everything, you just click on this reset button. And that's a little tour of how you're going to use this uh, simulation.